It's the beginning of winter here in the UK, and I have a couple of pairs of shoes which uh, are the heavier construction. And I haven't been wearing them, partly because it's summer, has been summer, but uh, because I believe the heels need, the rubber quarter tip needs replacing. And I've been uh, wondering about that. You can send them back to the factory. And if you look on YouTube and search, um, I did send a pair of Prem uh, Pembrokes back to the factory for a complete rebuild. But the heel, normally you just take the heel locally, wouldn't you? I'll show you the shoes, tell you what I've decided to do, and then I'll look at the shoes close up later. One pair of these hand grade Blenheim 2, I believe they are. We'll look closely later. Double leather sole, monk strap, hand grade with a concealed channel and an oak bark sole. And the other pair, uh, the Crockett and Jones Cardiff, which is in Wales. And the, the shoes that I had completely refurbished were the Pembroke, which is in Wales and where my dad lived and died towards the end of his life. These are not hand grade. And you can see the channel. Well, I've added uh, tip protectors there. Both quite firm leather. So we'll look at them closer later. Now you might say, what's the problem? Just take them down the road, innit? To the man, several, and just get it done. Well, here's my experience and why, I'm, why I hesitate to do that. My experience is it's fine, you know, people are, most people don't care, do they? Just take your shoes and get them there, wear them, take, 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 they do it quickly and all the rest of it. But uh, I went in there and they said, uh, would you like this grade of heel or this other slightly expensive, slightly more expensive grade of heel? Well, that's a bit strange to start with. Why don't we just have the best? Is it really that big a deal? Did you want to make one not so good? With all the shipping and the, you know, increasingly these days we're thinking about the planet and extinction and all the rest of it. It doesn't seem to make sense really to me. Anyway, the trouble with that is I noticed that the better ones, which I went for, last, I would say, less than half as long as the originals. I would say about a third as long. So I'm thinking then there must be an existence, at least three grades of these heat little rubber heel trips. The ones that are really cheap and disappear in no time. The next ones, which are the standard good ones, which disappear fairly quickly. And then the original ones, which last a long time and that have been in existence, I think, since the 70s and 80s, because I've got some shoes, vintage shoes from that era, and I can tell it's the same stuff and it lasts a long time. So I find that a bit, maybe I don't understand it, I just find it a bit silly. Particularly now, when we've got to look after the planet and things, a bit silly. So that swayed me a little. Another thing, with the uh, local shops that I've been to, not knocking anybody, everybody's got to do their thing, haven't they? But I noticed that I rather like, don't know if you can see it, but we'll look when you see closely, I rather like the heel stack. And you can see the different layers of leather. So that's nice. When they repair them, the local ones, it seems that they um, obviously go around the edge to smooth off the rubber tip with a, on their machine. And that leaves this kind of light colour, the original leather colour. So then they find a matching slodge, it seems to be, some kind of thick paint. And they just care, reasonably carefully slop that all the way around. Similar colour to that. And you look at it and you can no longer see the uh, differentiation. Not too keen on that. I did ask one person, well, can you actually not do that? Is there anything else you can do? Uh, he was a bit reluctant. I said, I'll pay you. Can, can you stain it or polish it or something to keep make it look... Uh, oh, I don't know. I'll pay the extra. Thought, How much is that going to cost extra? These are shoes I you know, was keen on. Eventually he agreed to do it. He did a good job. He said, well, I'll have to match the car and I have to do it. Anyway, he did a good job. So it's possible. Maybe you have to ask, but they also sometimes seem a bit grumpy. So that's the second thing. And the third thing, as I noticed with these uh, other heels, it changes the sound of the shoe. 
I don't know. The thing just sounds nice. Um, it sounds it's got a nice muted firmness to it with a footfall. With the other ones, they must be softer or something. It just sounds spongy and feels it. Probably why they wear quicker. So all in all then, I was humming and harring. I did hear that there were Crockett and Jones authorised repairers. That seems to exist on the web, and I seem to remember saying that. Couldn't find any, though, if I searched in my area on the web. I rang the shop, and they, of course, whether the particular sales assistant might have been new, might not have known that kind of thing, it's not really. But they said, no, bring them in, and we'll send them to the factory. And then I don't know what happens. I suppose it comes back to the shop. So a mild inconvenience. I have to take them to the shop, but that's okay. I can go on the way from work. Not so good if you live in the country, I guess. But I can, uh, by train, go on the work tube, drop them off, leave them, and then, I guess, pick them up in whenever. That's what I've decided to do. I'm going to take them into work tomorrow and deliver them. If I can film inside the shop, I will. I'll ask nicely, but I can fully understand if they don't like the idea of that. And I shall conclude the video, all being well, with the results. For those of you that enjoy such things, I'll just show you a close-up of the shoes as they are now. I'm going to take a look at the Cardiffs first. Actually, I'll need my other light, I think, so... You can maybe see it says Cardiff Air Tenny. Leather lined. Double leather sole. Not hand grade. See the stitching? Not a concealed channel anyway, not hand grade either. And uh, stamped on there as you can see. Crockett and Jones. Fairly thick leather and soft at the same time. These are hand grade. They are the Blenheim 2, I believe. No. Don't know where I go. Oh, I know where the Blenheim 2s are. Oh, look at those another time. These are Canon, the double N. As you can see, the hand grade emblem is different. Again, leather lined. Quite thick, but even softer. Different kind of feel to them. The leather. It's probably the, the hand grade thing. Double leather sole, concealed channel, and I believe oak bark sole, and uh, you can see the stitching starting to show as that wears away. Not a problem. Uh, no, um, unless it was in a different place, no emblem. Some of the older models, and this is an older one, did have the emblem there. And hand grade there, and that of course wears off. Looking at this, you might think, has the sole been replaced? Has it been refurbished? Because when they're refurbished, they don't come with the emblem. But I don't think so. From the look of the leather, from everything else about it, from the wear inside, and the sock hasn't been replaced. I'll show you what it looks like when it's been uh, refurbished. The heel, as you can see, getting pretty close on this one. Could go further with it. On the other, not really. Something about these brown, this brown heel material in a minute. On the Cardiffs, 
Sorry. Yeah. And the other one chunk out there. It's got some more wear in it, but the chunk's gone. I don't know. So I may as well have them both done. Now something about this brown material. Not so much on this. But to some extent on this, it seems to crumble a little. Oops, there you go. Also, this one uses a brown material. You can see on the edge there, it's starting to crumble. Not so much on this one. One final thing then. This is my first pair of crockets, which I was given as a present for being best man. These are Carlisle, I believe. Yes, a Carlisle. These I was were given to me and I uh, put the date on there just because it'd be silly. Anyway, uh, 23rd of the 7th, 1996. These did split across here, so I had them refurbished. I only had two pairs refurbished. This was the first pair. And I noticed when it came back that it didn't have the emblem there. So when they refurbished, they don't. I, well, this one didn't anyway. And inside you can see when they've been refurbished, the socks been replaced. So you can see it's covering up some of the, the writing in there, because that bit's been replaced which does make them, I find, just a little bit snugger. If I show you the other one, you can see what the sock looks like when it hasn't been replaced. So there we are. I shall send the, these off and let you know the result. Fortnum and Mason near Christmas. Well, November still actually. This one. Burlington House, Royal Academy of Arts. May as well have a look. I've decided to bring the shoes to the Burlington Arcade rather than um, German Street. Oh, sometimes I have. Uh, something on display in the middle here but nope he was talking about secret passages that run under his feet I'm not worried about churches today. It's just uh, Cracket and Giants. Oh, here we are. So the gentleman doesn't mind if I uh, leave this on, so uh, I think just the heels, perhaps, for you to see. Should I keep the bag, the shoe bags, really, or um, will they come back with them? Keep, yeah, up to you, really. Will they come back? Yeah. They will come back with them, because I'll put a knot on if you want okay. to, but just in the heels, yeah? I think so. What? Yes. Okay, the same hill? Yes, originally. Okay, no problem. Okay. Uh, there's two pairs in there. Two pairs. Yeah. How long have you had these for? Oh, uh, <laughs> actually, I'm not sure. Those are about three or four years. Those are older. Yeah. Oh, he, he I haven't seen them before. You haven't seen them before? Yeah. So, someone, I did say uh, before, people said that there were. Um, 
what do you call them, authorised local repairs, but I couldn't find any. Local repairs? That were authorised yeah. by Crockett and Jones, that you yeah. could take them to. There are, yeah. that does there exist. Is, there is, yeah. Oh, okay, I couldn't. We would be taking these, if you just want us to re it, we'd be taking them to the local repair office. Oh, I see, so, but they're not local repairs like where I live. No, sir. Oh, I see. I, I assume so that I, I thought you had people uh, around the country that oh, you'd no, no, recommend no. we went there's, to. There's, there's, okay. there's one that we go to. Okay, that so that's. Contract with. I see, so that makes that clear. Yes. Just, uh, Lovely belts, but very expensive. Okay, could I get your name and contact number, please? Yes, my name's Anton Brown. Upstairs is uh, men's boots and ladies' shoes. I like these. I think I have these. Oh, they're the Chilton. Sweet ladies' shoes. And I think ladies' boots. Slip ons and uh, driving shoes. Slippers. Here we are. Uh, I took a bag to the shop, but uh, they offered me the boxes. So I said, thank you. And my bag wasn't big enough, so they gave me a bag as well, which I shall reuse all of these.
I don't know which is which, so we'll just go. Um, let's see. Camera may go dark because that's white. Crockett and Jones tissue. Uh huh. Truth. So, yes, I can see the variation very good. It's a black quarter tip, not the brown. Maybe they don't do the brown anymore. That's fine by me. What I notice... Yes, they've been... Uh, they've been conditioned as well. Shoe cream, I imagine. And the sole has been conditioned too. Same applies here. And uh, the uppers have been conditioned. Again with the uh, black quarter tip which goes in there, as you can see, which isn't usually the case. Well, with the heel bars that I've been to anyway. Just enough room to sum up. So, is it worth it? A little more than twice the heel bar price if you go for the, um, the best option at the heel bar. Probably not done as well in that uh, cutting in, but maybe, I don't know. I doubt they'd condition them. And they last, in my experience, twice as long, maybe a bit more. So, kind of working out even Stephen price-wise, but uh, I like the little extra something or the other. Also, when I was there, obviously you get to look around the shop, and I had a chat with the fellow there who noticed the Blenheim 2s I was wearing, and we had a chat about those and various other bits and bobs. A Spanish lady was in there buying a pair of Cordovans and getting the sh appropriate shoe cream, which they stock. They stock shoe creams and brushes and all sorts of things. So my feeling is, yes, it's worth it. If you had to pay the postage there and back. Depends how much you wear them, but I, th I think it's still probably worth it. If you make a day of it, have some fun. You enjoy that kind of thing. It's a bit of time out from the usual uh, day to day. Then I think the whole as an experience and the quality is a no brainer for me.